Hey there viewers, did you know women are at more of a risk of having a stroke than men? Of course, there are certain symptoms exclusive to their gender only. These signs can't be ignored. Women who have severe headaches or vision problems, along with pain on one side of their face and fatigue are at a higher risk of getting strokes. In today's video, we'll talk about 7 symptoms of strokes in women. Let's begin! Number 1. Vision Problems Alright, now take a second and ask yourself this question. Has my vision been hazy or blurry lately? If the answer is yes, maybe you should be a little careful. Many times, it might not even be hazy or blurred vision. You might have a problem seeing through both eyes. Sometimes one of your eyes may be functioning properly while the other may not. There may even be times where your vision feels disoriented. This mainly happens because of the nerves that are responsible for sending the visual information to your brain. These nerves aren't able to send signals properly. In some cases, it's been observed that optic nerves incur damage due to stroke. Some damage can lead to permanent blurred vision. Number 2. Breathing Difficulties Breathing difficulties can occur for several reasons. From lung infection to the gases segregated in your gut, breathing difficulty may also lead to stroke. This is how it works. When you're having difficulty breathing, your body doesn't get enough oxygen. As a result, the brain will be deprived of air. When your brain is low on oxygen, you're at a risk for stroke. This works vice versa. You can also develop breathing difficulties after the stroke has happened. Speaking of which, don't forget to check out our stroke versus heart attack video, where we explain the basic differences between both. Are you liking this video? Make sure you click subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest content. Number 3. High Blood Pressure Also known as hypertension, High blood pressure can lead to strokes in the long run. This is applicable to both men and women alike. When your blood vessels don't get enough oxygen, they slow down. This is because they're unable to properly circulate blood. To compensate, your heart starts pumping blood at a faster rate. As a result, the arteries and the blood vessels are pressurized. As this continues, your blood pressure increases. If you don't do anything about it, you put yourself at a risk for stroke. Usually, a proper sleep schedule can help. On top of that, a diet free of excess sodium. Also, drink lots of water. While it may vary from person to person, an average of 3 liters a day is ideal. Unlike the previous points, if you can control your blood pressure, you won't have to deal with strokes. If only our next symptom was that simple. Number 4. Numbness A numbing sensation on one side of your face is among the most common stroke symptoms in women. If you happen to be going through it, you are at risk. Strokes usually damage vital brain cells. They also block proper functions. One of them is the lack of sensation on one side of your face. This happens because the nerves can't carry out signals sent by the brain. As such, blood vessels get congested in one place, which halts the circulation of blood. This causes a numb feeling in your face. Here's something that you should know. Because of this congestion, your brain will not receive the amount of oxygen it's supposed to. Keep in mind, it may happen because you put too much pressure on your face while sleeping. In such case, it wouldn't lead to a stroke. So don't self-diagnose yourself. Please rush to the doctor the moment you see this symptom. Number 5. Speech Problems In some cases, the nerves that connect your brain to your mouth and tongue may get damaged. This puts pressure on your mouth and tongue, which in turn impacts your speech and the way you convey your messages. This is how you get slurred speech. Here's the second part of this problem. The nerve damage has some effects on your brain. Over the course of time, it could impact not only the way you talk but also the way you think. If any type of medical help is not sought, it could increase the risk of getting a stroke. This is especially true for women over 50. The body's cellular repair system slows as we age, so females around this group, please be cautious. After that, it continues to grow weaker. Any type of nerve damage after the age of 50 could mean that you're more likely to develop a stroke. While people of all ages can be affected by them, growing old increases the risk. Now, let's talk about a more subtle sign of a stroke. Number 6. Fatigue It's a common feeling. You wake up in the morning and you don't want to leave your bed. Your body is just so drained of energy that the thought of being productive feels like a death sentence. This is fatigue, folks. In many cases, it's one of the main signs of an oncoming stroke. Whenever you feel an unreasonable amount of fatigue, you're at risk of a stroke. There is a silver lining to this one, though. Fatigue is a symptom of countless other things. 
starting from a lack of estrogen in your body to menopause to menstrual cycles. Even depression could be a cause of fatigue. While fatigue can serve as a stroke symptom, it's not the most alarming. For a reliable opinion, visit your nearest doctor. If you have more than two symptoms listed in the video so far, then you're likely at risk. Here's another sign that may be overlooked. Number 7. Mood Swings When you're at risk of a stroke, your mood can change dramatically, but mood swings aren't the most reliable symptoms. Stroke-related swings are caused by nerve damage. This is why you need to be worried if you feel like your mood is shifting too quickly. If nerve damage is too much, it leads to major complications. So if you feel that your mood is shifting too quickly, you know what to do. The best part about this is you can prevent this situation altogether. Just eat foods that contain a healthy amount of vitamin B12 and keep yourself in a good mood. Listening to some soothing music, doing yoga, or joining Tai Chi classes could prove helpful in this case. You can also try strolling through the park or anywhere that makes you feel closer to nature. Walking or spending time in nature benefits the body greatly. Also, try to think of simple ways to deal with life. Overthinking things usually isn't one of them. So, do you have any symptoms we mentioned in this video? Do you know of anyone who has had a stroke? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.